It's beep, beep, beep time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone's mother into this. Your mama in the fucking stands! Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pashitsky. Christina Pashitsky. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. Welcome to the program, folks. It's behind the jeans back for another episode live. We are live. I love being live, folks. Gets the juices flowing. You know, gets my blood pumping. Love seeing so many people in the chat early today. Oh boy, oh boy. Remember, folks, behind the jeans show at gmail.com if you're unable to be in the chat live with us, whether it be a scheduling conflict for you, and uh, or maybe you just don't want to become a member, which makes me mm, makes me sad. Become a member. Join us in here. Uh, just go to the YouTube channel and uh, sign up, become a member, and then boom, you can have access to joining us in the chat. But if I, like I said, if you're not uh, able to do that, behind the gene show at gmail.com is where you can stay in touch off hours. Join the conversation, as our boy Garth Brooks would say. And a couple things to mention. I'm going to be on the road. TheJoshPotter.com is where you can buy tickets. TheJoshPotter.com. Coming up here real quick. We are going to be in Huntsville, Alabama on April 26th and 27th. That's right. Friday, Saturday, April 26th, 27th. Huntsville, Alabama. Stand up live. May 3rd. Going to be in Seattle. Going to be in Chicago coming up in May as well. And uh, I'm going to be coming up in May in a lot of places, Washington, D.C., Emmaus Theater in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and uh, Tim Butterly will be with me on that one. So go over to thejoshpotter.com and buy tickets, won't you please? Jeez Louise. And again, the email is show at gmail.com. A few contributions were sent to us for today's show through that, as a matter of fact. Let's see who we got in the chat. Oh, boy, we got Brittany. What's up, Brittany? How are you? Don't be a poor. Exactly. Don't be a poor. Sign up, become a member. And by the way, just a little thing on that topic, for the record, some of us are poor still. I'm using a washcloth from time to time here and there, if you know what I'm saying, especially post-tax season. I just found this out. There's these little things in here. They're called super chats. And if you send me a super chat, it involves a monetary number that you get to decide. I, I found out I get all those. So it goes to a poor right here, you know? Like I said, some of us are still a poor, and I'm only getting fatter. So get ready. Holy hell. It's coming, my friends. But thank you for joining us. Logan's here. What? I don't know. What? What indeed? Juwan, uh, Juno Juwanan. I always screw up the how to say that, and I'm never going to get it right, but pal, but Great contributor. We've played some of his stuff. Uh, Post tax season, indeed, bus. Yeah, see, in show business, you don't get money for taxes. You pay it, and it is scary. What is this? Ooh, damn, ripping. I'm sometimes the chat's going so quickly. Look at this. Damn, ripping on poor people. Shake my head. I am a poor person. Who? Who? I'm ripping on myself, Logan. Come on, get over it, pal. You're you're rich. You're in here. You're a member for Christ's sake. I'm talking to the rich people. You're a rich person, for Christ's sake, out here. Out here, touching my camera through the fence, we got MW Comedy, Roach Lives Matter. Love it. Oh, look at this. We got a new member here, Mary Salem's been a member for 47 months, and by new member, she just it looks like she re-upped. So thank goodness you're sticking around. You're going to hang out here for Behind the Jeans. Potter trying to kill any. That's where I was going to start the show off today. I am apologetic to any. I, uh... I, you know, I posted about us going live at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, which we do every Wednesday here on Behind the Jeans. And I posted up my promo thing. I forgot to collab. I'm sorry, Any. Are you there? Oh, shit. Yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I also yeah, wanted to share. 
Bro, dude, I'm sick of these fucking videos, man. If you're asking me to do this shit way too much, I'm getting mad. I'm getting hurt. I have a headache. I'm trying to figure uh, friggin' play it here because uh, I wanted to show everyone the video then you then that you made. Oh, the but, tech uh, isn't working, ma- huh? No, it's that uh, Instagram. You know how Instagram they're like really want you to have it on your phone. Oh, it's Instagram. It's yeah, Instagram's I'm trying to pull up phone. the Instagram video, and um, I don't remember my own login for Instagram. You see, it's not Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Cougar, send me that video. Every time he's like, it. "Oh, there was technical difficulties." Nah, nigga, he's send me it in, my, in uh, send me it in my email if you have it, Cougar. Send me that video. But any had to make a makeup video. I like these videos that uh, we've been posting for behind the jeans, where we find a thing and then you know, like a uh, there was the one where you roll out of the old stretcher. There, these are fun. So I told Cougar, keep keep finding these. I don't know who's doing it over there, Heather or Cougar, but keep finding these things. You kids are on the TikTok. The Roach wants to be hip. Today I did one where I showed uh, Tom my balls, or my dick, I guess, because it wouldn't have been my balls, it was my penis. But uh, And then uh, I promoted the show, but that was the one I didn't collab on. But you should be happy, the one you did got more uh, appreciation than the one I did. Yeah, well, I, I went through a lot to do it, so I, I fucking hope so. I'd be very upset if we didn't even post that shit or something. Here we go, here they we go, I've me got it. it now. I said no, and they said, no, you have to. We have to post it. You have to? Oh, my Lord. What's going on over there? Yeah, on, let's see if I can play it with this. Do-do-do-do. Here we are. Let's see if this works. Oh, there it is. It's working. Let's get the audio. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Holy <laughs> shit. We're going live uh, tonight, 5 p.m. I forgot uh, what the hell I was supposed to say. Potter didn't add us as a collaborator <laughs> on the video that he posted. So social media team said we had to do another one. And we had to hit someone against the wall. Guess who lost the pick? Your boy. Now Your boy. I have a fucking migraine because Potter can't do his goddamn. It's the easiest shit, nigga. Just it's one setting that you gotta click, mm. and then collaborators join. I. 5 p.m. You're gonna hear from me. <laughs> Here he is. I'm a fire Potter, man. I'm gonna get that. <laughs> no, I'm a poor. Don't do it. Let's yeah, watch the impact one more time. Man. Let's watch God the impact. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I hate this. Company, <laughs> that was good. I hate that social was media. Good. I hate Instagram. We hate all it. hate it, Any. We have to do it to survive. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking ads. Oh, my Lord. Well, thank you I'm for doing you that. Fire, I apologize. Bro. Oh, by I'm the way, there was fire. another thing I wanted to bring up. This was funny on oh. Two Bears. We got to hear a very sweet goal of yours, and uh, Bert kind of jumped in and uh, brought it up. So we got it got exposed to us, and I wanted to uh, play it here. Goals. Mm. He goes like he, he very quickly. He goes, "I wanted a house in uh, Atlanta." You can't see it because I was making a movie there. So I just thought, "How do I get that house in Atlanta?" I know <laughs> I got to make this much money. I know how I make this much money. He goes, "My goals are very simple." It's a beautiful thing in life is that if your life's a little more simple, like Tom. You can find your goals and achieve them and go, We're gonna like find Annie out said, I want to buy a house Bus. for my mom. That, that's so beautiful. As opposed to someone like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of a name, like Joe List, Mark Norman, who or Sam Morell, who want to be like movie stars. Or I-, I don't know if they want to be movie stars, but I get it. Uh, you want to buy a house for your mom is what we missed there. Uh, if I was talking over it, I apologize. That's very sweet. And that guy just asked Bus, he's like, is there anything any likes? He likes his mom. No, well, come mom. on, don't start this hashtag. This isn't good for us, Nutter. Come on. <laughs> I told you. That's not nice. That's yes, not nice. Sir. Little bounder. Yes, yes, you like. Fire. Back to what we were discussing. You like your mom, though. That's great. But I thought it was yeah, interesting. Shout out to my mom. I thought it was interesting when uh, Bert was like, you know, this is a small goal. I don't know what they want. You know what I mean? But like their goals sometimes can be way too big. Yeah. And then you can't focus on that goal because it's out of your reach you can't like attain it if you're a a a regular person you can find small goals that are attainable and then your life gets so much happier well yeah i mean what you're talking about is just having what i say what did i say well fuck up i heard them laugh (laughs) it's just it's funny you're saying buying a house is a small goal that's kind of huge to me man no it's a big goal it's a big goal but it's not for everyone, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, buying a house for your mom right. is a big. <laughs> yeah, right. 
<laughs> it's so he funny because I think when Bert was at like, oh wait, I'm rich, right? Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> when Bert was at our economic state, I think houses were pretty affordable. <laughs> you know? That's just kind of yeah. a recent thing that houses have become <laughs> insane. It's like, actually, you know, you can buy a shack for a half a million dollars now. No, I thought that was very funny. But then he was like, uh, I, I get what he was trying to say, though. He was trying to say, you know, it's, yeah, a, it's a focused goal. Right. It's it's an attainable goal. Like, I mean, it's unfortunately unattainable for a lot of people because our country sucks. But uh, <laughs> like, it should be an attainable Based goal any. for the foreseeable future. But, well, it's uh, it's a goal that yeah, you are like being a movie uh, star is kind of crazy, right? Right, right. It's not a it's on a in a macro sense. It's a a goal that you can focus on and can achieve if you focus on it because it's you know finite in that way. I get what he was trying to get with in that. I thought it was funny though. He was like, "I'll buy your mama house." Did you feel cucked in that moment? Uh, <laughs> cucked. <laughs> yeah, I guess that explains it, huh? <laughs> yeah, that would yeah, be the feeling. Man, it? Ain't buying my mama house. <laughs> Show ass out of here, man. I'll fucking He's I'll trying to cuck it. your your house buying for your mom. You buy my mom a house, I'm gonna rob it immediately. <laughs> and then I'm gonna make hey, thank you, Nunya, for so I have uh, to buy it again. <laughs> thank you, Nunya, for being a business. Yes, yes, yes. You have to buy it from Bert to, to pay mm -hmm. for it. That's mm -hmm. so funny. It's oh, Juno boy. Well, thank you. Nun, Goddamn. Juno Wan Nun. Jesus. It's because of the two yeah. J's. I don't know which J is the 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 H in uh, Mexican or the J? You know what I mean. I mix up the two. No, I, I go. Know you know. You I go. Keep going. You know, John Nunn. <laughs> yeah, I, I hear you every time. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you go. You go, John Brun. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I'll get it right one Good day. Trip. Thank you, Annie, and I apologize. Next week, I'll make sure to collab. Hell yeah! Hate from the studio. Peace. <laughs> and let's not get that hashtag Fire Josh going. I don't even remember what it was. If it was Fire Josh, Fire Potter. Let's not have that happen ever again, please. I was under the impression Texas was cheaper than most states. Well, let's not get into state-by-state -state ep economics here, bus. We like to talk about a, a bunch of things, but let's leave that for the experts. We're just saying, you know, it's hard out there for a lot of people. And that's why, again, I'll remind you about the Super Chats. They all go to me. If you ever decide to, bring, to, to grant me with one, and I'll leave it at that. Just wanted to bring it up for you once again. But... Something to note, we will have a guest on here in about 15 minutes or so. And she was a guest on Your Mom's House that just aired today, Airtight Abby. And she gave a great detailed explanation and proof, I would say, as to her airtight story being uh, ironclad, if you will. Airtight! if you will. <laughs> and uh, she gave some great detail to it, but there was, I think there was some things that were overlooked that I would like to know, and I would like to know some things beyond her appearance on your mom's house if they've changed in her world. So we're going to have her right here on this program in just a few moments, and we will play that clip in just a few moments. But also, I was on uh, uh, the old, uh, what the hell was it called? Not Today, pal. I was on that bad boy. And uh, there's a story I'll get to in a little bit. But first, I wanted to mention, because some people keep bringing it up again, because I brought it up, frankly. I, technically, I'm the one who uh, brought this up again, back into the, the forefront. We were talking about my apartment and how it was the most regrettable piece of content I ever had. And uh, I feel like some folks have joined us for Behind the Jeans since then, and maybe they didn't see me give a tour of my new apartment on this very program. So I thought I'd go behind, behind the jeans. that I don't live that way anymore. So I thought, what the hell? I'll give you a tour right here on behind the jeans of my apartment right now. And how am I gonna do that? And he's freaking out right now, probably he's shitting his pants. How the hell is that gonna happen? But we'll do it here, don't worry. Watch the walk. All right, here we are, we're in the studio. You can see it here. This is the studio. Wow, this is like we're Inception, studio, folks. Wow. And we're going to go and check out the rest of the place. Brand new apartment. Here we are. Look at this. All right. So not messy. It's the living room. It's not clean either. This is not like I didn't like prepare for this in any shape or form. You know, we got a little, a little mess right here. Got a little mess over here. But nothing like uh, that you would be alarmed at and be like, Josh is, you know in bad shape now you're probably wondering what's the let's go i mean i'll show you the fucking kitchen again 
my dining room table is not for dining. It's for collecting things. Not too bad. Look at the stove. Clean. Sink. Look at, I cleaned the sink, though, today. I did. I cleaned the sink. I'm not going to lie. I can't. I have to be honest with you, you know? Let's go. Now, now for the thing that everyone's wondering about. The bathroom. Ta-da! See, I didn't even clean it today. We've got some, you know, a little beard trimming in there. That's not that, you know, out of hand. I didn't clean the tub or anything today. but So I didn't prepare for you. That's all I'm saying. But I don't live, I'm just wanting to make a point. I don't live like that all the time. Little Tosh.0 type of redemption here for me, I would like to think. Yes, I can, I'm, I'm going to harp on it over and over again, frankly. I was traumatized. <laughs> and so I want to harp on it over and over again. People are excited about Airtight Abbey coming on the program. This is very exciting. Uh, to, I'm seeing some of your questions. I was trying to scroll here and find them because people already have questions when it comes to old Airtight Abbey. Airtight Abbey is the goat, says Little Bowner. Brian wants to know if she's single. Maybe we'll find that out. Ooh la la. Now, let's not get creepy in the chat, though. Let's just put it that way. RJ says, we going to need proof that happened. Pretty crazy story. RJ, I think if you listen to her on today's episode of Your Mom's House, you will find it to be truthful. No one can just have that, unless she's like an actress, which would, I mean, she would have to be like uh, Mer Meryl Streep or some shit to come up with that story and, and then be able to deliver details like that without skipping a beat. I believe her 100%, and I can't wait uh, to see her on here in just a couple of moments. Airtight Abby for president says Snap Crunch Pop TV. She wa uh, This person, Eric V. Eric V wants to know about the Eiffel Tower moment. We'll get into We're going to get more into the nitty gritty, and I hope that Abby doesn't mind. And if she doesn't want to talk about something, it's perfectly all right, obviously obviously uh potter inside potter that's right that's what we just did there chad i just i'm traumatized but i, I want to remind you folks <laughs> because every time it comes up it's another deluge where is tom i don't know he's probably flying in the sky someplace to go do another show i have no idea but look he's actually we're gonna get him on in the next couple of episodes promise you that oh thank you brian i appreciate it very much trying to get less poor over here even though we're getting fatter <clears throat> and still using washcloths to clean our butts that's what i use it for love the beanie says marvin's leo thank you i was seeing if there was any other questions for abby in here but yes we we, we have our own questions too but get ready get prepared she's coming up here in a couple of moments and uh we do have let's get into her story a little bit let's play the clip while we wait for her arrival coming in a few moments so are we ready Babe, we're going to talk to a okay. living legend i'm so scared this is going to be a i've lady. never talked to somebody that's been airtight have you let's go here we go <laughs> like a regular person not an adult film star please answer abby hello <gasps> hello and we tried it in like missionary and it hurt Let's get like way to go, yeah. girl. She was yeah. like, you know what? You're here. You're alive. So listen, folks, I jumped ahead because I wanted to hear the intro. There. I thought it was funny. She was like, not an adult. We have only had some commentary one-on-one -on -one with adult film right here on this program. Episode one of Behind the Jeans. We dug deep into that investigation. Dug deep. And it's one that really strikes my fancy. That's why I don't mind talking about it again. And now we get an added layer, just a, a regular Sally down the road. Abby, having her own airtight experience with a football team. Yeah, no harm. You made it back to tell the tale? That's European football for the record. Some call it, in this country, soccer. But, yeah. but let's walk through the tale again. So, so what happens when a dong goes in your A and your V at the same time? A good so question. So we tried anal by itself first with, like, the first guy that I had been talking Smart. to. Mm -hmm. And... We tried it in like missionary and it hurt yeah. so bad. I was like, absolutely <laughs> not. No red flags everywhere. Absolutely not. Yeah. So I switched to doggy, which I found out later is like, I made such a rookie mistake by starting in missionary. Apparently mm. doggy's where it's at. Oh, uh, <laughs> Not the first place my mind would go. 
as being a convenient position to become airtight. Because missionary means, you know, obviously missionaries face to face, but that means someone's back here. You know, because you're not fitting two dicks in. There can't be double missionary. And if there can, if someone's figured out a way to do that, boy, oh boy, I'd like to see it. You know what I'm saying? You can't have two men on top doing double missionary on top of you. You got to have a guy behind you in the ass. So she was sitting on it, you see, and then someone was to missionary sex her through the top. That's what she was getting at. I wouldn't have thought that as being the first way to go. Personally, I would have thought this next position would have been my first inkling. And maybe I just, uh, I, I understand sexual ergonomics more than the next person. I don't know. Maybe I've just watched a couple of films or two where I noticed these things. It takes a real pro to do the old sit on and then take it in the, yes, I agree. So that might have been tough. And I'm not shaming anybody for their decision making, obviously. Um, and it was way easier. Yeah. yeah, all the professionals and the gays say that. Yes. Um, yeah, so, so I then you could to sit, doggy and it made you, it a lot easier. And did you do the thing where you're sitting on one guy, like cowgirl, and then a guy is is uh, anally in you Behind as well? Behind me, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is, <laughs> hey, that's a fucking that's huge. advanced yeah. move. Dude. Yeah, Abby, crazy. congrats. You know, and for being 19 without porn experience, I think I did a pretty good job. Amazing. And then, did you have that and then one in your mouth also? Yep, and yeah. one in the hand. So she, and wow. one in the hand. I mean, she got Jeez, airtight and good. then it had a bonus on. I know, like, that's so hard. <laughs> that's such good work. That's so crazy. Wow. Was Billy the, the hand work? He was. Yeah. Hey, really. Billy, you still hey, get a hand. I'd, I'd still be like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. I'll just, I'll take some hand work. So did but you... He did, he, we did fuck for a little bit. So yeah, he that's got nice. He got, he got a little He's something. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm so obsessed with this anal stuff. So when you guys are done... Did you were you afraid like oh god did I brown everywhere? Um no cuz like during I f kind of felt like I would have felt it yeah. and I didn't feel anything which you know is risky but it, it felt good no one was saying anything nobody smelled anything I got to ask you this that is a that's, that's a crazy like if you were were to meet like new girlfriends and you guys are all having <laughs> A glass of wine, and you go. I got a pretty cut like a, like a cool crazy story. story. For you. I'm telling you, like <laughs> so many women would be like, "Oh my god, this chick <laughs> is such a savage." So, did you have any more comparable stories like this since then? Like, did yeah, you did. Wow, not as not to that level. Yeah, I think that's probably the peak. But I have a few that are pretty damn close. Like wow. what threesomes? Well, I had a threesome with twins. What? Conjoined or regular? <laughs> I identical but regular. You had identical. a threesome with identical twins. I did. Wow. Folks, this is awesome. Stop. Wow. How and great one is of that? Them was way better than the other what? one, which I thought was oh. hilarious. Oh, and let's talk about their dongs. Were their dongs identical as well? They are. One of them was like slightly bigger. The one that was better, maybe it was my own biased perception because I thought he was better than maybe I thought he was bigger. But They're I think identical. his was a little bit bigger. Wow. And how did you meet the identical twins? Tinder. Wow. wow. And were they weirded out by each other? Yeah. No, it was their idea. <laughs> wow. That isn't, that's that was insane. another. And let me make a statement about that, folks. Twins. They are gross. Let's face it, right? Can we talk about it finally? <laughs> they all want to have sex with each other. I, I mean, would you want to have sex with... If I had a twin, I would hate that thing. Oh, my Lord. I wouldn't be able to look at it. I mean, I am self-loathing. You think I want two of me around? I would hate... I would put all... I'd actually probably be really helpful to have a twin for me. I'd hate it so much that I would actually feel good about myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I may look like this fucking thing, but I at least I'm a better fucking guy than this fucking thing over here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> do we think, what do we, I mean, people, yes, and twins. I've never heard it go the other way around for a woman, though. You know, usually that's the fantasy of a man to have two twins be like, and I don't know why. I don't know. Why. <laughs> I want to watch incest occur. But it, what, I mean, that must, it's not like these guys were probably interacting. They were probably, uh, they had the body, but we'll ask her. We'll figure it out. Did they kiss at any point? Was there an E2 Mama Tambien moment with the twins? I want to find that out. At one point, did they just forget about her? She was, her being there and join up and 
fuck themselves. I want to find that part out. And I'm not sure. Maybe we get to that part of the, this is where I like, basically, I was like, I can't listen to anymore. I have so many, I had too many questions running through my brain. Their bucket list thing. They asked me and I was like, it's their bucket list. No thing. one else is going to have a story like it's this. their bucket list thing, folks. Their, their bucket list thing is something that they tell about a lot of girls. I'm just going to put it, put it that way. I would, if I was twins and this was our way of getting laid, oh my Lord, would I bandy that about left and right. Now I got to talk to these twins. Absolutely, I will do that. And so, both at the same time, and like, so the they did like, vag and mouth and everything. Yeah. Wow, and they're looking at each other. It's like looking in a mirror. It's just like. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Wow. Weird for them, but not my problem. Yeah, but then, yeah. but you. you <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I love it. Definitely not your, not problem. your problem. But Can't you liked one of them more. That's interesting. What, what, yeah, what, definitely. Great, but was great it? What woman. was was the excitement having? Like, because with Tom, I would love to have double the Toms. Mm. <laughs> you know, mm, yeah. was was there that? Like, they were were they hot? They were hot, yeah, and they were both studying to be neurosurgeons. Oh so. hell yeah, dude! <laughs> By the way, yeah. we just outed them. There's not that many fucking <laughs> identical twins <laughs> that are neurosurgeons <laughs> right <laughs> now. Yeah, so, so funny, dude. They're never gonna hear congratulations, this. Congratulations, yeah. doctor and doctor. Um, <laughs> So, but you said you think one was slight. By the way, just because I kind of don't trust these twins to not have used that line before, where they say, it's our bucket list to fuck a girl at the same time. They've done this a dozen times. I'm going to bet maybe they're not actually neurosurgeons. <laughs> maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe she saw their apartment. Maybe she saw their cars. Maybe they're loaded and they are neurosurgeons. But... I'm going to bet that's another little like thing they throw out there. Oh, BT dubs. If you weren't already into like our little bucket list tall tale as a fantasy, we're also doctors. And they're probably hot too. So good for, oh, Stanktron, I had yours up here for a long time. They snowballed each other. That you see is where I believe, if I'm not mistaken, snowball means that they take their own come or would it be their brothers come see now this is where it gets interesting would he take would the one twin take his brothers come and then spit it into the brother's mouth so then he is getting his own come second hand or would he then would he take his own come and then spitball it into snowball it excuse me into his brother's mouth these are the things these are only questions we have for the twins unfortunately unless she witnessed it that would be something but uh i'm gonna guess that perhaps she hadn't i just think it'd be funny if they just started like making out while they were iPhone. and she's like what the hell are they doing <laughs> we'll find out i have more questions about the twins and just the uh the time in general uh the first one i mean I'm, that almost made me forget all about the football team from earlier in the story and in fact I'm, I'm blanking i was sitting here blanking on billy as a cougar if you're around come in and, and inform everyone about the billy trauma i forget what the detail of that is and i don't want to rewind and search is he there is he or is it <laughs> i brought you on yes i'm here nice there you are i, I didn't know if you knew if you were on the uh, old stage or not yes did, can you inform us about Billy, please, in the detail that of that part of the story? About Billy? Yeah, she she mentioned Billy, and some and how he had to be in the hand, and there was a bit of an awe Billy moment. Awe Billy moment. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm putting you on the spot. I understand. I just didn't yeah. want to scroll back because I was blanking on it myself. I was like, what? Maybe because I was so. Uh, we'll ask Abby when she comes on. Then I don't mind recapping it because. It was something that caught me, and I go, I don't remember Billy. Here, we got, a, we got a special guest to chime in on Billy. Okay. Who is... We got a special guest coming to the mic, folks. Who is it? What's up, Potter? Can you hear it's me? It's Zolo, Zolo, folks. Oh, my Lord. It's Zolo. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, man. Glad to be on. Um, so, Billy, he, she met these African gentlemen at the club... She goes back to their place, and there's another guy there. And I think the three of them were on, like, a football or a soccer team. And Billy was just their buddy who was, like, out of shape, shorter, not that attractive. And he, he was like, oh, can I, can I get in on this too? And she kind of, like, pity-fucked him a little bit. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> he brought her back, though, Billy? No, no, no. Billy was the friend that was at their apartment. So she was just already there. Okay. 
he met three guys at the nightclub. They bring her back, and there's a fourth guy there. That's, that's important to me. That's that important to me. Yeah. Okay, so Billy, I don't have as much. That's what I wanted to find out the wrinkle in that because I, if Billy was the one who found Abby out in the wild, brought Abby back, like, hey guys, look it, I got a girl. And then they all fucked her, and Billy got the pity fuck. That would make me feel just epic heartbreak. For, I would like carry that with me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know why, but that kind of cucking makes me so sad. Oh, yeah, that would be heartbreaking. No, that's not what happened here. I think I have trauma attached to that because I brought back a girl to my apartment one time, and my roommate did fuck that girl. And I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't watch it or anything or try to join in. I didn't know it was happening uh, in my case. But that's what I felt bad for Billy there for a second. But now I don't feel bad for Billy because he just got some side ass is what happened. Billy got trickle down ass, which is fantastic. That's every schlub's dream is to get a little trickle down ass from your hot friends. You know, they go out, they find ladies, and then she's like, yeah, that's what makes Abby a true goat is that she allowed Billy some trickle down ass at the end of the day. Billy, an unexpected assistant, that from Eric V. Pussy by association, that from Owen Hembry. Well, thank you, Zolo. I appreciate it, buddy. Anything else you want to add before we uh, we get Abby to join us in a couple of minutes here? I don't think so, man. Take it away with her. She'll be a blast. <laughs> Excellent. I can't wait. We will talk to you later. Uh, let's watch more of this clip while we wait for Abby to join us. Where on earth is it? There we are. Look at me. Look at me. Slightly bigger, but like usually identical twins down to like the shapes of their fingers are exactly the same. Right. Yeah. So it, it could have been my bias because one of them was better, but, but I. But better I'm in really that his upset. his movement, like the way that he. Well, you know, yeah, the movement, you. the rhythm, yeah, the okay. the touch, the skill, all yeah, of it all was of better. And I, then, he just seemed way more experienced. With I want to ask you this, Abby. Jeez, Abby. What's Abby up to today? <laughs> today. <laughs> you survived. Today I am semi-retired. Okay. Um, semi from what? I, Sl slut from operations? Being a slut. <laughs> okay. From okay. Slut okay. Operations. okay. I still come out of my shell once in a while for something really worth it. Mm -hmm. Sure. But most of all, I kind of just like stick to myself. I got a dog nice. and he helped center me. Are you a lot in pursuit of a long term relationship? You know, I am. I'm looking to bring my skills to a singular partner One and person. let them enjoy the fruits of my labor. Yeah, that's I, awesome. I, I think that would be great. Um, but it's fun that you've lived such a, a life. You've had so many fun experiences. And not only that, that your escapades got you all the way to YMH. Yeah. And you share I'm so your glad story. you shared your story. What compelled it. you to share your story? <laughs> you know, I love you guys so much. Oh. And I was always hoping a story of mine would come to some kind of delightful fruition to serve me one day. And <laughs> I was listening to the airtight stories and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. They might not read it. They might, but at least it'll be out there. And at least I told my story. Well, this is an incredible story, <laughs> yes. Abby. So thank you so much you, for Abby. messaging and for talking to us. We thought this was going to be a five minute chat. It's at 25 minutes. So thank you so much. <laughs> Riveting. Yes. And go watch the first half of that, folks, if you haven't already, because it tells the initial tale, the whole airtight tale. Oh, my Lord. Wonderful stuff. And uh, I cannot wait. Till she joins us here maybe she got spooked and didn't want to come doesn't want to come on we're gonna find out in a couple minutes here uh but boy oh boy i'm trying to read some of your uh things here oh this is one right here we got a hater in stanktron stanktron this isn't nice ask is uh ask if she will tell her future partner about how big of a whore she is that's now that's not nice stanktron unless you're trying to say it in a nice way where you're like you know you could say that in non-pejorative senses. You could be like, hey, are you going to tell your future partner, like, what a incredible whore? You know what I mean? Like, that would be a different story. I can't read tone through the chat, unfortunately, so I'm going to just chalk it up to being a hater. No, she's very, this is, I can't, I mean, what a lucky man she'll find who's so skilled. I have no, I mean, if you're one of these men who care about body count, stop being gay. Grow up. Grow up. I want all the experience. Imagine just, like, 
taming a bronco in the wild and uh breaking it you know what i'm saying like and then it doesn't want to run around in the wild anymore it wants to you know carry you in red dead redemption or whatever is that a good analogy i don't know we're live folks we're live here on behind the jeans hopefully abby will be joining us she's uh running a little behind but with chats like that i don't see why she wouldn't be uh spooked come on i mean come on stingtron you're a hater you're a hater amen says little bonner thank you thank you i appreciate it danny brown had speaking of, let's i want to keep the uh train moving here while we await abby for coming uh coming on here in a second where is my little list oh there it is Danny Brown at Schoolboy Q on. That's what I love about Danny Brown's show is that he'll have a guest on who I wouldn't expect to see on a podcast. You know, you get the same people. I'm one of the same people here and there. You know, people see me and they're like, oh, this guy again. Come on. That's my job. I do podcasting. But some of these folks that Danny gets, musicians and uh, people from outside of the comedy world, very awesome to see. And it's a breath of fresh air. He had Schoolboy Q on this past uh, episode. Oh, right. And they did a wheel of <laughs> gilfs. This is a wheel. Oh, they got gilfs on the wheel. I thought it, I thought the hole for a second before I, uh, I, I clicked on it, I go, is it going to be a wheel full of gilfs? Like all gilfs just like... You know, I don't even know how to who to name. Uh, Betty Davis. Uh, you know, I don't know. You throw up there. Who's old out there these days? Betty White. I mean, there's a lot of Bettys that would be on the wheel. That's for damn sure. But they get gills on the wheel, and let's watch it. This is very funny. I'm just kidding. We'll save them for another time. We got Q. We got fucking schoolboy Q in this motherfucker. We don't want to hear no other niggas rap. Gilfs. You already know how I feel about gilfs, man. Gilfs? I love me old bitch. Old oh, bitch? Yeah, man. More so than younger girls now, man. Yeah, old bitch. I ain't, ain't nobody trying to deal with no younger girls. Yeah, they're retarded. They sitting around making TikToks and shit. Yeah, and yeah. Like, ain't nobody got no time. Anytime like, I see a nigga like old nigga my age, like he's dating like a young ass bitch and shit, I'll be like, yeah, you a weirdo. Nah, for sure. That's mad. That's mad creepy, too. Yeah, it's like predatory. Like, no way you got the 22, 23 year old girl and you like. I like old bitches, man, because you, yeah, you, you know, the young bitches, they go too hard, man. Old bitches, them, them bitches come quick. You, 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 you fuck them five minutes. They yeah. happy with that shit. You ain't got to be sitting around slanging dick all night on the old bitch, man. They know they, they know they parts, man. They know how to make this shit happen. They don't be complaining. Young bitch, we want to go all night. I ain't got time for that shit no more. I'm sober. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't I'm no so this ain't that. This ain't that Molly Dick. This ain't the fucking Henny Up. You know what I'm saying, bitch? You can get this <laughs> five minutes. This, this ain't the Henny Up no more. We're getting yeah, five man. minutes and we up out of this motherfucker. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> I bet Danny hasn't come. The rubber band hasn't snapped back in the sobriety. I bet if he stays sober for long enough. Hold on a moment. There we go. I bet if he stays sober even even longer, the dick will come back in ways that he's never even imagined. He'll come out the other side. He'll be back on the youngins. No time. But that's so funny. I love Danny Brown so much. Well, next up, we have the main lady herself. Oh, my Lord. The headline of the day. It is Abby. I'm going to put... I can... Oh, your camera's already off. Perfect. Look at that. We, we can just hear you now. You're on the phone like, uh, like you're, we're on Larry King. How are you? I'm good. Let me see if I can turn your volume up here for a second. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's see. I'm going to pump you up. All right. How's that? All right. There we go. Thank you. How, how are you, Abby? Are you, uh, are you basking in the glow of being on your mom's house today? You know, I totally am. It's been a surreal experience. I didn't know I was going to get uh the name of the episode <laughs> that that's a great yeah that is a high honor to get the name of the episode that's for sure <laughs> and how has your life changed i mean have you had offers now do people know out there that are close to you that maybe that now they're coming out of the woodwork going like well i didn't know you were so much fun we should hang out you know i've kept it pretty i've kept it pretty quiet um I will say I have been reading through some of the comments and they have been making me laugh. Um, there's a lot of, she has no self-esteem, but I need her number for science. <laughs> it's exciting that you gave Billy 
trickle down ass. That's what I was saying. I mean, that is like that means you have like a heart of gold. You I mean, know, he was I like just to there. think that I'm a pretty nice person. Because I that part, kind I kind of by the end of the the whole thing with, you know, the entire airtight story into the twins story, I had forgotten all about Billy and his circumstance. And there was a moment there where I thought Billy brought you back and you were going to like initially sleep with <laughs> Billy and he brought you to all the good looking players. And then you fucked them instead. No, and I was like, no, that's no. mean. I was sad. But then I was like, oh, wait, Billy was just there. And she's a real trooper. And was like, come on in, partner. Like, you didn't want to leave anyone out. I was being a great host. That was wonderful. Yes. No, you brought him along in. That's great. And now uh, you were mentioning the sitting on the penis first. Mm-hmm. And then going into the missionary. That part, I thought, was wild. Who proposed that? Was that your thoughts? Um, that's a great question. I don't remember. Because my thought, I wouldn't go there in terms of ergonomics, maybe because I've watched a film or two, but I would just think it would be easier. So I, that's why I thought maybe in your inexperience of uh, taking two at once that you thought maybe like, I guess I'll sit on it first. So that was actually my first time doing any kind of like multiple guy situation the twins was like right way after no of course that's what i'm saying so, yeah in your first time i would my thought would my instinct instincts would have gone doggy style first i don't know if that's just my uh vanilla brain thinking of, of <laughs> anal that's the way i would i'm like isn't that how you do anal i don't know oh so <laughs> you knew that i didn't know that at the time i didn't know that that's like the way anal was done with doggy i my first try with them was missionary and it didn't go well now you say missionary now i'm it conjures thoughts like they weren't both doing like that's crazy if like one was you know like what you were sitting on top of one of them right so okay so first it was just like regular sex with one person at a time and then mm. we started adding pieces to it yes um so by the time it anal was like in the play i had already I, I think i had had sex with four of them by that point um and we tried just anal by itself with one of the guys and didn't go so well so that's when we changed position to doggy and then once the anal was good there we added the other players back in nice now do, did you rank these fo fellas afterwards in your brain like this guy was the best. This guy, like, did you have? Did you start once you started adding multiple? Did you have guys like play their position, if you will? Um, I wouldn't say that I ranked them like. Th I mean, I definitely ahead of the game. I was like, okay, he's the cutest. He's like second, so like this is where I want them, and like this is what I want them to be doing. But um, once we kind of got in it, and afterwards, I wasn't thinking about it as much. I do have like a running list of all the guys that I've slept with and like some stats about them. Nice. But, you, know, you keep like a log. Yeah, I keep a log. Wild. Now I have to ask about the, uh, the twin situation. I sure. am so curious because I've had this theory, Abby, for so long that twins just want to fuck each other. <laughs> like every twins. They just secretly want to fuck each other. So my thinking is that these two go around telling girls oh it's on our bucket list and this is their excuse they're doing they're running this racket all the time but you're here's probably the real, right but here's the question did you watch them make out at all during it or something <laughs> no no action between the two that i noticed um i mean you could very well be right but one of them was just way more awkward than the other one for me to be sure about that Interesting. Yeah. I mean, because I have to, I am so curious about how they interacted with each other. <clears throat> I said, I mean, I would hate, if I had a twin, I wouldn't, I would hate its guts, frankly. I don't know. I wouldn't be around it ever because it's I'm like, <laughs> another one of me. That's wild. But uh, that's crazy. I mean, and then you, you had a twin that you liked better because he just, it, and it's the more confident twin, would you say? Did you get a, a, a glimpse of their dynamic through fucking the, the two of them at the same time? 
definitely got a glimpse of their dynamic yeah i think the one was way more confident way more experienced and the other one was kind of just along for the ride and did they did you notice them do anything telepathically while they were <laughs> like yeah, did they how, know how would i know how would i know well i guess if like uh i guess that's true Oh, and the f other question we had here in the chat, I can't remember who posed it earlier, but did they snowball each other? What does that mean? Well, you see, it means when one would then spit the cum into the other one's mouth. Oh, oh, no, no, that didn't happen. Just an excuse to have more twin-on-twin -twin interaction with one another. <laughs> did you ever think at any point I should get them to do something? Like, what a, what a position of power I could make these two commit incest you know i think <laughs> by the transitive property it was almost already happening <laughs> yeah by the transitive <laughs> property yeah really at the end of the day it's just shades <laughs> yeah point. it really it wasn't that far off you know these are you know i love these stories that i have these are not things that i would do again or recommend no, I mean, other people do no it's <laughs> life we're just living life out here abby that's all it is <laughs> And I, I, I know you mentioned that you're looking for a long-term relationship and, you know, anybody out there who would care about this kind of, like, I would love, if I was dating somebody and uh, we really were, like, in love, I would love to hear these stories. This would be fantastic. So make That's sure you don't hide it That's truly what I'm hoping. Partner. Yeah, I'm not going to hide it. I, I'm a very sex-positive person. I believe that everybody should explore their own body and be happy with who they are and enjoy the gifts that they were given by the universe and let your freak out, you know, let it go. But yes, yeah, I'm hoping, indeed. I'm hoping my partner definitely is also understanding and like is proud of me and not ashamed yes. of me. You People know? are out there that would be, and I'm saying don't settle for anything less. Anybody who cares about body count is gay. That's what I say. Amen. <laughs> All right, Abby. Well, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bask in the glory that is being one of the uh, best all-time guests on your mom's house, giving us an uh, airtight first glimpse from the, uh, from the front lines. All right. Thank you so much. It's been an honor. All right. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay, that was airtight. Abby, folks. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I don't even know where to go from there. I have to catch my breath. What a hell of a conversation that we had with her, digging a little bit deeper into things. Oh, my Lord. Uh, let's see here. We have a fun... Ooh, this is fun. This is fun. Because, you know, last week we were talking about best guest, worst guest. And we had uh, Nick Simmons on, if you don't know, last week, if you're just tuning in for the first time and you haven't checked out last week's episode, Nick Simmons came on because some people thought maybe perchance he was one of the worst guests. And I think he redeemed himself quite a bit. And uh, we had a great time with Nick Simmons on the show. So I thought this week we might be able to get one of the nominees for best guest. And uh, I reached out to Johnny Pemberton he was one of the people, and he could not come on today, but he can come on in the future. So we will have him on uh, in the next couple of episodes, hopefully. And I also reached out to Stavros. Didn't hear her back from Stavros. <laughs> but this one involves Stavros. He did have an awesome appearance, obviously, on your mom's house. Uh, and I'm sure he'll get back to oh, me soon. But this is an lunch. animated... DP, DP a blow-up doll. There's a really <laughs> cool point at the end where they um, switch the doll. So yeah, two straight buds hanging out. Check out those blow-up dolls. Now, if you so, this is a pretty cool part in the whole. Yeah. Now, if we get closer to the end, you'll see they do switch to a. I don't want to spoil it, but there is a point where they switch to a different blow up doll. Oh, thank oh. God, because this they're gonna pop this one. Okay, so you see. Oh my oh. God! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're so close to each other. Oh. So oh. strange. Oh. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're, they're literally rubbing against each other. Two straight buds, dude. Two straight Just two buds. Two straight buds, they being a blow up doll. Oof. <laughs> it's like you and Bert would do this together. Right? Bert and I have done this. Yeah. Uh, this is next episode of Two Bears. God, it's been years since I've seen this, but it holds up. 
There you go. That a cool cart. That was from Cartuna Radio, C A R T U N A Radio, one word on Instagram. Go check out that Instagram account. I thought it would show up on the old thing here, but uh, alas, it did not. Very fun. I should have taken the fucking chat off. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, so, are you mad at me now? Uh, <laughs> The arm around Tom, that was good. Best on the cam. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, Stavi, great episode. Reached out to him, so he is a busy fella. I think he was flying today or something. So we'll get him on in the future. I promise you that. And uh, I was on Not Today, pal. We mentioned it a little bit when it came to the apartment situation. This one, kind of like a wet blanket story after... Um, hearing all the fun that we had with Abby and all the fun stuff that Abby went through, mine a bit traumatizing by comparison, and uh, it involves probably the tail end of the old Make Josh Come to Her, if you recall that right. whole era in time. This is when I decided, you know what, I don't think I should be uh, doing this anymore for the most part. Uh, but here we go, let's listen. Any red flags that, like, if a girl was trying to nominate herself for the Make Josh Come? Oh, and by the way, if you have any detailed questions about this, now's the time. Because guess what? We got the guy right here. So if there's any further questions, sound off in the chat. Party that you'd be like, no, like, were there? Do you remember any huge red flags? Yeah, you any saw? deal breakers? Like, oh, not my allowed. God. There was one girl that literally came. She came to like I was doing shows in Chicago, and she came to the early show. And she was pretty, and I thought she came with her friends and everything. And I was like, oh, after the late show, I'm going to go to this bar. So I'll meet you there, you know? She goes, okay, cool. And then she showed up at the late show. So I don't know how. She, like, someone in the kitchen was like, hey, there was this girl hanging out in the back, and she was looking for you, so I let her in. And I'm like, you think you're doing me a favor here, dog? Like, you're just letting in women. Like, I don't know this girl at all. So I'm like, okay, whatever. And then we go to the bar. I'm talking to people who are at the show. I had some friends who were there. And she was like, why are you talking to these people? By the way, I do appreciate that favor. I said that in a way where I was like, are you doing me a favor here? But I was, I did actually, like, a part of me is like, I get, you, your heart was in the right place. I hold no malice. Like, she was so bad at, like, she couldn't be in the conversation. She was so rough to talk to. It was like. She was being possessive already. Yeah, get I mean, out of it here. It was also that, like, just having conversation with her, there was like a wall there. And I was like, is this person R word? You know, like, I didn't know. <laughs> What we were this doing? Is a safe space. Her. You can say we're yeah, I, she. I thought she was like. Red I'm like, am I doing a crime? Uh, but she wouldn't. <laughs> I thought that would no get a bigger laugh. Like I was like, eventually <laughs> she was very blatant, and I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. You know, like blatant. What do you mean? You're like, didn't you Stop, read the sign? Skip this over is, the details. This is the she, make Josh come unless you're like, retarded. We're tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she started being like, you know, like when am I gonna make you come or whatever? And I'm uh. like, I'm like, well, I don't know if that's gonna, you know, because I was repulsed by her at her attitude and her personality she, again she was pretty and everything and so i like go to leave and i'm like really just saying no to this sorry i'm pausing at staying tron had a question josh have you ever banged an r word not to my knowledge and i uh i hope i have a clean record still uh for the for for the forecoming uh she future followed me to where i was staying which was right around the corner and she made like a whole scene outside of the hotel and it gave me such anxiety i'm like all right come inside come inside and oh my god i was Rob's like getting hives that's dude yeah. and i was start, I, <laughs> I was like i can't this girl's crazy she's retarded she's crazy i don't want to do this so i let her like go in the bed and i went and slept on the couch wait you let her into your place because she was screaming out I'm addressing these questions. That means yes, says Alberp. Come on now, Alberp. That doesn't mean yes. I'm just saying not to my knowledge. Now, I mean, also, what is your definition? Where are we drawing the line? Just a, a lady who keeps forgetting her, locking her keys in her car? Is that one? I mean, like, what are we talking about here? So let's just relax a little bit, Albert, before we cast judgments. I was like, kind of call, call her. Oh no. Oh no, I blew it. I hit a button and I blew it. Hold on, hold on. We'll get it back. I blew it, folks. Went right to Google. What a dumb button to have there. Were there any red flags that like if on the couch and she goes and she made like a whole scene outside of the hotel and it gave me such anxiety. I'm like, "All right, come inside, come inside." And oh my god! I was Rob's like, getting hives. That's dude. Yeah. And I was start, I, I was like, I can't. This girl's crazy. She's 
retarded. She's crazy. I don't want to do this. So I let her like go in the bed and I went and slept on the couch. Wait, you let her into your place? Because she was screaming outside. I was like trying call to call her. Cops. I was what trying you, to call her an Uber. What is wrong with you? And then they, the cops come and they're like, can you explain the situation? You're like, well, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I can't come. So well, not only that, like, <laughs> I just, I get, it's like if I call the cops and there's a pretty blonde woman versus me, they're going to, the cops are going to be like, you're arrested, sir. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't yeah. it have been safer, possibly? That's my biggest fear, for the record, is like a woman freaking out on me, and I'm such a bitch, I call the cops, because I'm like, I don't want to, please. And then the cops come, and they go, it's obviously him, and they arrest me. But I think that they would notice that I'm also just a giant bitch. But it is a fear of mine. If there's any fear, adults shouldn't have like fears like that. You know, maybe they're scared of sharks or something like that. I mean, that's like a little kid fear where he's scared of dinosaurs too. But like, I have a fear of that. Do you know what I mean? I don't have a fear of getting in trouble anymore. I don't really fear getting arrested, but I do have a fear of that for whatever reason. That's like my midnight run dream. You maybe, know? but I didn't want to deal with all. So I was like, all right, fine, come inside. So I let her, oh I, I put, God. she slept in the bed and I laid on the couch and she goes, well, aren't we going to fuck or whatever? And I was oh. like, no, I don't really want to. And she was like, we're fucking. <gasps> I came all the way here and I said, I'm cheating on my husband tonight. <gasps> and you are you better. And so I like let her blow me. I mean, like, what, I'm only so human. I can only what say is, no. This so is real house. life? This yeah, happened? It was crazy. The hair on my left leg is standing up. It was Why just the left? I don't know. And it wasn't even like good. Oh. It, hmm. <laughs> but, what made- <laughs> like that really makes a difference. I said it. <laughs> You ever listen to yourself say something? You go, oh, I didn't need to tell them that part. Anyhow, I just, uh, <coughs> obviously, that was a big part of uh, Not Today. Well, people asking me about that. So I thought I'd open up the chat to it, but most of you are just judging me for being a, a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> Stingtron. Stingtron is like chat MVP some days, I got to tell you. A toothy BJ, he wrote on this one. <laughs> yeah, like that would be the, the matter of it. Like I should have cared about that at the end of the day. She's wife, but she is somebody's wife. Eric V, that was the part that really uh, stuck my, in my craw that it bothered me. But I mean, like, also, I didn't know how to get rid of this person without letting her like uh, do what she wanted with me. And I say that, I say that like one of these, uh, you know, like I'm a, I'm like, oh, she took. I'm not like claiming she took advantage of me in any way. I just was like, well, the easiest way through this hole is out the other side, China syndrome style. So I just did what I had to do. And again, I'm only a human man who has low self-esteem. I am going, you know, I was, I can only say no so many times before at some point I I would have said no. And no matter how crazy she is, I would have been like, I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to say no. And then I would have been like, why did I say like, you know, two hours later, I'd be like, why didn't I just, you know, I would have been mad at myself for either way. So no matter what, I'd, I, w- I would have been upset. And I don't claim I came out as a victim or anything like that. I hope you weren't thinking that I was uh, complaining about it in that way. But what a lunatic woman. That's really the moral of the story. This lady was a real crazy pants. Oh, my Lord, screaming at the top of her lungs yelling at people that i'm i'm there with like that i know way better than her being like why are you talking to them like crazy shit like that but boy oh boy when a pretty blonde girl talks to me i am up for anything it I not guess. good isn't just doesn't the, it just probably the, the, the lack of safety uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the lack of trust and safety yeah, and when yeah like, you literally when she, have yeah. yourself in her mouth that's yeah. very dangerous i don't i'm wow. worried about your decision making i've got to be honest josh <laughs> Welcome to the club, Jamie. I mean, we got a whole internet worried about it out there. <laughs> and it was difficult to tell that story in front of Jamie, by the way. I don't really, I, that was the first time I had met Jamie. She is like a, a beautiful actress, very polite, very like, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to tell this heinous story. Plus, you know, I'm, that's what I do, really. Rob, I could talk to all about that shit all day long. You know what I mean? I've done podcasts with Rob. I know Rob, I could tell him a. Uh, fishing tails up and down but felt weird talking to it to jamie about it but i got it out there and i told it like i would have told my grandmother <laughs> <laughs> i care about you and i'm not so like these decisions that you're that making that was uh probably the most like dicey one that's when it kind of was starting to go a little like <laughs> what am i doing out here you know yeah. and i still like, oh. I'm, I'm very like i found send out the that link. getting laid is send the husband the link there cougar not the hard part it's like uh being uh, intimate with a person on a daily basis is the hard part. So, oh yeah. Well, yeah. I feel like if you're yeah. trying to work towards intimacy, that whole thing set you back a little. A little bit. I mean, you start to learn. Who's Thank in you. It. Like I also learned, like 
some of these women are just trying to fuck me for the story, which is like, go ahead, fine, you know, and that, I don't really mind that. But it is uh, there is an empty feeling when they're like, peace out. Like, oh, well, I didn't make them come, but I gave it my best effort. Peace out. Bye. And what then, what like, was the batting average of these women? How many? What percentage <laughs> were making it? I'm not going to lie. I didn't come very often, but um, the ones who did, did you get yeah. more attached to them? Not attached, but there was a couple where I was like, God, I got to see that girl again. What was the difference that you could... I don't know. Again, I, I really like, not to be like gay about it, but it was like, you know, safety and like uh, trust and all that kind of stuff. Like I felt like comfortable with a person. Uh-huh, you know I mean? of course. So I think I've that never experienced that. that. I think... Ugh, ugh, I'm done. I'm done with that one. The trauma story is over. Now I'm getting all queefy. Blech. Terrible way to end the show, but alas... Time is up, my friends. Uh, we do have one... Th- I'll end on this, as a matter of fact. We have some things, you see, that uh, are inside of a dumpster. You s- that's what I'm going <laughs> to... I don't know why I pl- phrase it that way. It's a dumpster dive is what we've put it on the sheet as here. But I said, it's from inside the dumpster, folks. It's just stuff that maybe your mom's house hasn't gotten to, sort of B-sides that... Uh, your mom's house hasn't uh, played or had time to play, and they just kind of stack up. So I thought we'd end with one of those. What do you say as I totally fuck up my whole thing at the very end? Look at that. I'm going to get it. I just have to see. Just look real close, Josh. Which one is it? Boom. Found it. Look at that. All right. Let's see what we got here. We'll end with a, a TikTok that didn't make the show. Put me here. Mm-mm-mm. Where is it? I'm going to play it for you. Here it comes. Oh, this is not the right one. I didn't mean to pick this one. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Father, for I have shinned. These are my top 20 worst shin injuries ever. Favorite thing to do. Ooh. Ooh, the scooter. The scooter. The scooter. No, not the scooter. Okay, that one sucked really bad. But the scooter. I mean, they're using the scooter a lot, and that is the that is the, that is the most traumatizing. I'm feel. I could feel the scooter right there. I could feel it. Oh, the scooter. I don't care about what is it. Those would just kill me. Those things would just kill me. The scooter, though. I oh, the scooter. boy. And there you have it, folks. Top 20 worst shin injuries. What's your favorite shin injury? Sound off in the comments. Leave it in the chat. Email us behind the jeans. Uh, show at gmail.com behind the gene show at gmail.com that's where you can send in anything by the way if there's anything you want to make for the show if there's anything that you want to send the show any ideas of uh clips that you want us to play from past your mom's house episodes when we go into the vault on occasion send it all into behind the gene show at gmail.com maybe you'll be in the middle of the night you'll wake up and you'll go oh my lord i just thought of something and you can send it in you don't have to wait till we're live here every wednesday 3 p.m pacific 6 p.m eastern time let's say good lo- so long to people in the chat here bike pedals still haunts me yes that is really an old school one too there sean ob bike pedals just being like Skr! oh boy oh boy soccer when i played soccer you'd get every now and then one kick to the shin you had the shin guards though you know because but they would still get in a spike to your shins woof that sucked i have little holes all over my shins from the bmx days that shadow jocker uh shadow yeah shadow jocker looking i read it properly scrolling on down here eric v thank you have to run me too eric v that's the whole point good night sweet prince that from brian thank you for being here brian Albert, forgive me, Lord, for I have shinned. L O L O L. Later, Chomo. Later, Trubal. Uh, and I thank you all for coming here. Thank you for being here live. Thank you for being a Your Mom's House member. Remember, if you're watching this on replay, you can join us. Just become a member, and boom, you have access to all of the live streams. And uh, hopefully, we will see you next Wednesday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, here on Behind the Jeans. 
This is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone's mother into this. Your mama in the fucking stands. Welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pashitsky. Christina Pashitsky. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> Brr.